you don't know, Jack has gotten better and better over the years. From the 90s, where they released small games of certain category questions, or random ones, on the PlayStation 1, to the PS3 days, where they released a sort of reboot of the series that was awesome, to now, where they are releasing packs of great, fun quiz games. This review will most likely be smaller than my first one, mostly due to the fact I'm only reviewing one game of Jackbox Party Pack 2. That game is Bomb Corp. The music, or the only tune that plays for the matter, it's pretty meh. All I do is repeat about three to five different tunes and play them out of order sometimes. Not too impressing in my ears, but not awful by any means. The presentation, twice in a row, is the retro aesthetic. I don't know why they did it like this, but I wouldn't see how it could be done any other way without being over the top or a knockoff of keep talking and nobody explodes. The one thing unique about this compared to other games, other than what I just said, is the office setting. The voice actors of Jackbox games play the office cliches pretty well, and they crack me up from time to time. That's it. The president is getting another angrily written matter. But unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. And does anybody else think the coffee out of this pot tastes weird? You're using my neti pot. If you aren't already familiar with what you use to play the game, you need a smartphone or a web browser to play it. It works and is a genius idea. Why buy some dinky controller when everyone you know has a smartphone? It caters to the target audience flawlessly. How Bomb Corp works is that you basically get a bomb, and you have to defuse it by reading the instruction manual in order and cutting wires. This extends the two modes, the story, where throughout a week you defuse bombs and do other activities with different people of the office guiding you through the whole thing, and the grind, where it's a marathon of bombs with a master time limit where every defuse bomb adds to that time. The gameplay gets fun when you get a pal or two and you all have to read the instructions in order, spread across each of your devices. It gets really hectic when you try your best to make sense of it with a friend, fail, and then yell at each other until you realize your mistakes. I've never yelled at anyone this much for stupid first world reasons since I played Mario Kart Wii for the first time with friends, and it's great. Is the Jackbox Party Pack 2 worth your money in general? Meh. The PS3 version and Party Pack 1 could cater to one player. But with the newer party pack, you only have a two player or more experience that is great and a single player one that is meh. With the advent of streaming though, this could be bypassed if the delay is okay, Kyle. But is Bomb Corp itself good? As a multiplayer experience, definitely. All of the pack, including this game, are fun to play with friends or your Twitch audience, although the Twitch option is kind of a bad idea with this one unless it's a Skype call. These are the type of games you bundle some friends who've never played video games before, get your laptop that can output HDMI, connect it to your TV, and just sit on the couch and watch the hilarity ensue. Although, I wouldn't make an impulse purchase of Jackbox Party Pack 2 unless you are really sociable or have a decent Twitch audience.